helping me analyse the big stories is my panel, columnist and journalist at the Adelaide Advertiser, Caleb Bond, and former foreign correspondent, Lisa Goddard. Thanks for joining me, guys. Uh, really appreciate it. Let's head straight to the Courier Mail first off. Uh, the Australian has got some very, very good stories on its front page, but I want to have a look at this story, first of all, on the front page of the Courier Mail. The headline there, of course, is City Hall Exclusive. Council staff pocketing huge salaries as your rates surge. That's the headline. Brisbane City Council dished out more than $230,000 on average to executives after a $34 million cash splash on fat cat wages last financial year. The Courier Mail can reveal the total bill for the council's 148 executive service employees was $34 million. It is the first time the figure has been published for at least five years, and it comes off the back of a 2.5% average rate rise, which is above Brisbane's most recent inflation rate. Lisa Goddard, there's going to be a lot of people in Queensland tomorrow, particularly in Brisbane, who will look at this story and go, yes, I understand when you call these people fat cats. And, Gleeson, it's no surprise that we haven't seen these figures released for the past five years. There's a good reason to keep them under wraps because they will cop an absolute outcry from the public, especially when cost of living pressures are so high and people are being hit on average with about a $40 rate hike. They don't want to see these fat cats getting more money. It's, they don't think it's fair. You know, they're not seeing their potholes being fixed. They've got numerous complaints about the way council's operating. Why are they being paid so much? Caleb, have you got fat cats over there in, in, in your South Australian councils? Because I know that's your beat, that's your round. We certainly do have fat cats down here, but I, I don't know how things work up in Queensland, uh, but under the Local Government Act in South Australia, it is compulsory for councils to keep a register of salaries, which is meant to be publicly available. Now, some councils go so far as to publish it on their website, which I think all councils should do, <clears throat> whereas others make you actually go to the front desk and ask for the register of salaries and then charge you for the privilege of collecting it. But we can actually go and check what these people are on. And some of them uh, are on ridiculous money for the work they're doing. Um, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, to do reasonably cushy jobs. And, you know, if you're a rate payer, uh, you pay up your rates every year and you go, well, what am I actually getting for this money? A lot of these people have cars... Uh, they have allowances, all kinds of things that we don't know about because they're not publicly declared. Local government all over the country uh, is a massive gravy train. And once you get on that gravy train, why the hell would you get off? And that's why people go from council to council to council, because they get more and more money. Uh, it, it's, they're, they're creating Indeed. their own little economy within local government that keeps pushing the prices up. It's ridiculous.